So basically our problem was, sometimes it's difficult for men in the research community to uh, collaborate with each other or connect, um, meet each other and communicate um, based on whose skills they need or what they want to do with each other. So um, we came up with a recommendation tool that would be able to kind of uh, link researchers together or link people who need researchers with the researchers with the skills that they require um, based on where they are, what they do, um, what they're interested in working on and any other data that we can get on the internet, basically. So, um, what we proposed, what we came together this morning and agreed that we tried to do, was we'd use ORCID, we'd leverage that kind of service that uniquely identifies people with a kind of number, so that was good for us, because then we'd get clashes with people who have the same name. Also, you know, people voluntarily put all their kind of research info up there, um, so we're using that to connect people with each other. Um, and yeah, basically we generated this kind of graph in a graph database because we thought this is a service that's going to be based on connections and using a graph database is the best um, to add more connections over time. So also we kind of borrowed from um, the other group that made Orc Tricks, so we were able to link to their profile through our graph kind of um, browser. And then uh, Rod's come up with this very nice mock-up of what our homepage would look like. So, uh, <laughs> so and this is another, this is a mock-up of the two different kinds of uh, ways you could use it. You can search for people that you need somewhere that you want them, or you can enter your rocket number and say, "Hey, show me some people to work with." So, yes. So, so we started with uh, my part of the job was working with the database, trying to get it all linked together, getting all this data from the API. And as you can see from here, what we have is basically the University of Southampton didn't have too many people on orchid. So, we use it as a test case to say, okay, all of these people are at the University of Southampton, and as we can see here, we've got a relationship called is member of. So we've got people on the, on the blue ring being a member of the university, and then on the outside ring, we have um, things like their keywords that they provide on their profile. So this is what is going to be joining everybody together. Your keywords provide your skills, the kind of interest that you're in, and eventually there'll be machine learning going on between these um, between these keywords to try and analyze what kind of people you want to be working with. So we, um, this is how it would look if you're entering your ORCID ID. You're going to um, you're, um, you want to find out people who work well with you. And this is where we add portraits comes in. As you can see, we've got their um, we've got their nice um, <laughs> their nice website providing saying Melody. Apparently, you're only ninety nine percent matched with yourself, <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of the people who you should be collaborating with is obviously Alice, and less so with Boris. Mm -hmm. um, to do this, we did all of this on GitHub. We have our repeat, if you can just about see it right at the bottom there. Um, we um, created our logo, which I think is amazing. And you can see there we've got our contribute page, our license file, just to try and get, um, just to make sure that we're all, um, yes, okay. So, just to show that we all collaborated on this. This was our um, contribution, as you can see, everybody codes in the last five minutes. <laughs> and this was our original to-do list, which I think we've actually mostly sorted. We, um, the only exception would be number four, where we've got, we've got one university done, but that's better than nothing. And um, we've got a fair amount to do in the future. But we were hoping to take this forward to the Mozilla Science Global Sprint in June and show it to everybody here to kind of see whether they would use it as well. The more things, um, the next thing to really go forward with is the fact that we need more data in there so we can have more connections so we can tell you who you should be collaborating with. 
and that is the main focus that anybody can do that with Adam with us because it is very simple to actually start getting the data into the database.